Hi guys, if it's Friday, it's down in dirty woodcraft. Stay with me. Okay guys, today we're going to do a little tip or trick, an easy way to do something. Now, as you guys know, I've got my haversack. And I've had a couple people talk about, I want to carry a poncho liner, a tarp, or a blanket roll with me. How do you recommend carrying it? Well, of course, on the bottom, you've got loops right here for hanging it. But there's another way to carry it. Like that. So let me show you how you do this little trick. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to start by taking our wooby, our tarp, or our poncho. In this case, it's going to be a U.S. Army blanket. The blanket is a big rectangle, right? So I'm going to fold the long ends together. I'm going to fold in half again. That will give me about the length I'm looking for. Now I'm going to lay it down on a surface. Now with my Blackbird haversack, the strap comes loose, as you know. You can do this on a standard haversack. It's just going to be a little more cumbersome because of getting the strap to work the way you want. But you can do it. I'm going to put it out here. I'm going to take the strap. And I'm going to roll it toward me, oh, 10 or 12 turns. Kink it up like that. Okay, got it? Now I'm going to lay it down on the blanket. And I'm going to start rolling the blanket around the strap tightly. Since I'm now unrolling the strap, it doesn't kink up and give me any trouble. Just like that. Now once I got the blanket the way I want, I'm going to take my um, Bushcraft zip ties, which is just a Canadian jam knot. I'm going to put it up there. Cinch it up. Good and tight. Run the excess around. Tuck that knot back under. Now I'll make sure that this knot is not going to be against my back. Ooh, I pull that sucker so tight I can get my finger under it. There, okay, take my second one, do the same thing. Now I can do a tarp, I can do a wooby, I can do a blanket, I can do whatever this way. Any of these loose ends kind of roll it under itself, okay? Just like that. Slide it down to this end and simply cinch it up good and tight. I got excess, come around, tuck underneath. Now, knowing that this strap is now kinked up, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to slide it up the strap to there, and I'm going to unwind it to where it's flat. Roll that around, make sure it's flat, slide it back down. Now, the strap is flat inside of it. So if I want to open up the Blackbird strap and slide a saw blade, a file, or some other non-sharpie type tool down here into this space, I can put it inside of it, right? I then take the haversack, find roughly where the strap's going to be, go through the buckle, double it back over, go back through. Just like that. Now, making sure that the flat part is going to be against me. So it's not going to rub me. Okay, as you can see, it's going to ride this way. It's going to be straight up and down the spine. If I wanted it higher, I can bring up and tighten my strap up. Or a little lower, whatever. But this allows it to ride the center of my back up to my shoulder. Now anything I slide down in the strap is going to be inside of it, right? So it ain't going to poke me. I have full access to my haversack right now. And it's not rolled up on the bottom bouncing like that. So this is a way that I can carry it 
and keep it snug against me. It doesn't, you know, feel like, oh my God, uh uh. I can bend, I can twist, I can do whatever, and it stays in position. Pretty easy, huh? Now, can you do it with a regular half sack? Yes. But you got to kink up that strap to wrap it. That way you can pull the blanket down tight. The big advantage to the Blackbird is the fact that I got that strap, I can pull it off. Could I take it off like this and actually run the um, haversack on this hip, run it through one belt loop, slide then the blanket roll onto the strap, come around here, come through a belt loop, come around here and hook it and put my blanket roll across my butt like a butt pack and have my haversack on my hip so I can carry a rucksack, yes. That way there's multiple configurations you can carry it in, how I want to do it. Now this frees me up where I could now fold up a small tarp and put underneath my haversack. This is going to be an overnight rig, you know. I'm going to take this and we're doing a simple overnight. Conditions are not going to be bad. I'm carrying a hammock and a tarp right now inside my haversack. That's my full shelter. This is just my bedroll. Pretty simple, huh? Hope you've enjoyed this, guys. If you did, please hit that like button before you go. And it, please leave any uh, comments or questions down below. I'd love to hear from you. Till next time, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.